Hey guys. If you are hearing this video, it means the world has not yet ended. So we know that this is going to be airing the day after the election has hopefully finished. <laughs> uh, but we're shooting it before, so we don't know what's happened. We wanted to take your mind off something <laughs> with something we love, and we're drinking chamomile tea. We're going to talk about a book that we love, that we've read, called Among Others by Joe Walton. It won the Nebula and the Hugo in 2012. It came out in 2011. And it follows the story of a young girl coming of age who's from Wales, and she comes to live with her father. Oh, she's sent to beginning. live with her father yeah. because her mom... Spoilers! <laughs> I mean, Jesus. more women knows that from the beginning. But, but... she doesn't say as much. Okay. Like, one thing that's really great about <laughs> this novel is the slow reveal of really crucial information. And while that's not happening, we get basically her reading list. Because this is about a girl who reads science fiction and fantasy nonstop. So much. If you really liked uh, the character of Susie from Moonrise Kingdom, I know I felt very um, in touch with her when she brought a suitcase full of books in order to run away with. And no real <laughs> other survival tools. Yeah. Which was great. Morwenna is kind of the same. Yeah. She would bring all of her books. Yeah. So it really is like a love letter to science fiction, to science fiction fans. It's also this fantastic read on the way magic works, mm -hmm. which That's is amazing. the reason I love the book so much. It's not really overstating it to say that this book changed the way I see the world. The idea that magic is something you are working all the time to bring what comes into your life, not in a power of positive thinking the sort of way, way. Yeah. but like that your actions always have consequences that you don't always know what they are, or sometimes they come further down the line than mm -hmm. you expect, or yeah. in ways that you don't expect. This book frames that as working magic, which I just love. I love that. I love that. It makes you feel so much more, not like you're in control of your life because at no point is she like in control of what, no. everything that happens to her. And it's a very interesting uh, take on a coming of age novel because at the same time that she is testing and claiming her power, she's very aware of her responsibility in the world and because of her mother, the potential destructive nature of some of her actions. Yeah, and always knowing that you can't know Mm -hmm. what, what all of the consequences are mm -hmm. when you do something, mm -hmm. whatever it is. It's also a really great coming-of-age tale, even from the point of view of no magic, because it's about reckoning with the different person you are as a child mm -hmm. and as a young adult, and learning that you can be both of those people and neither of them, and reconcile your growth. Yeah, it's not about like erasure of the child, or the childishness or child loved activities. Yeah. It's really about who you're becoming and how that part of your identity is still integrated into who you are. Mm -hmm. yeah. The other really great thing about her is that she has a relationship. And this relationship is sort of different from, I think, a lot of young adult relationships. Yes. I feel like romance in young adult sort of falls into two categories. The um, idealized romance that, you know, young people reading can like sort of latch onto and go, oh, this is, I, this is what I want. And then the cautionary tale. Yeah, the model <laughs> or the warning. Yeah. And this is a perfect balance of, and, and as a result of being neither perfect nor yeah. run away, it's really realistic about being a relationship that, most people have as their first romantic yeah. relationship before you're good at it, mm -hmm. before you know how to... Before you're self-aware, before they're self-aware, what it would be like as a teenager to date a 17-year-old boy. Mm -hmm. And the kind of... And what you know, a 17-year-old boy is really like. Yes. Neither a demon nor an angel. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's a, a beautifully written, absorbing book, so we mm -hmm. really highly recommend it. Yeah. yeah. We do need to read Elect Supply with an Army, some female characters from this great book. And there are so many to choose from. So many that we, I think, 
I would like to, and I think you would like to, collapse three of them into a single <laughs> unit, which is how they function in the book for the most part. Morwena's three English aunts who, not to spoil anything, but maybe more than they seem. The plot twist that comes with those ants is m amazing. It blew me away. So we would like to read them, whatever they have to say. Yeah, I would encourage them to actually like reveal a little more of themselves yeah. and I, say some like, real are stuff. Are they aware of this? You know, how much is... I mean, yeah, they have to be. They have to be. But they might not want to tell anyone. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. But, you should read this like book. Secret, secret diary. <laughs> I would love to elect Marwena's boarding school librarian. Yeah, yeah. Who's so kind and so... Introduces and her to the interlibrary loan system, oh. which becomes, like, her favorite thing, that Obviously. she can get books from anywhere in England. Yes. Delivered to her library, and she can <gasps> get notified when they arrive and then yes. pick them up. Like, this changes everything oh about my gosh. her. Yes. So, um, and I remember finding out about Healthy. interlibrary loan and... Interlibrary <laughs> loan is the real magic here. <laughs> it is a, some real magic. <laughs> call the book to you and it comes. It comes. That's, yeah, that's what's <laughs> so, going on. Yeah, so we'll, so we'll give the, the librarian the elected power. I would like to give Marwena the army. Of course. Yeah, of course. Obviously no An brain. army of Welsh fairies. Yes, a whole army of fairies. There are uh -huh. a lot of fairies in this book, mm -hmm. too. So, yeah. 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 Oh. If you have science fiction books that you love, that you think we should definitely read, tell us about them in the comments. If you've read this book and love it, we totally want to gush we about it with you. We want to gush about it. <laughs> Thanks.